Lucas Media. Country Wayne did an interview on Club Shay Shay. Shout out to uh, Uncle Shannon Sharp. It's already over a million views. He talked about several different things that I'll break down in a couple of videos. First point that I noticed was Faison Love, right? Uh, Shannon Sharp asked Country Wayne about Faison, and I'm paraphrasing all this, but Country Wayne basically said that he'd be upset if he was Faison and Faison a hater and he doesn't understand the the new game and he don't have to go on tour like that. He can just sit up at home with his kids half the time and upload videos. So here's my point perspective, right? I agree with Country Wayne. Faison is a legend. Y'all, oh, one more thing. Y'all said that Faison disappeared when nobody know. Faison is a legend, right? Everybody knew Big Worm and all the other movies he was in. Y'all remember that movie, uh, Three Strikes, <laughs> back in the day? But um, I believe Baby, yeah, Baby's kids too. But Faison, he's really been talking down on Country Rain a lot over the last couple of years, saying he's not really funny and don't nobody really know who he is. And I've been saying this, been, been meant to make a video about this. But Country Wayne is the Tyler Perry now of comedy-ish, right? And I say comedy-ish because he don't really go on tour like that. But most of his stuff is on skids. He don't curse. He record from his iPhone. He put out, he said anywhere between 9 to 10 videos a day. And he has a huge core audience now. And it's really all about church too, right? He literally took Tyler Perry's model and mirrored it after after uh, after that and he even said it in the video and a lot of these people right so the common folks like us right me and the people that's listening we've been on this youtube space for a long time these big corporate people people that work for like the warner brothers or the paramounts or the espns the fox news they didn't understand how lucrative this internet game been people been on here getting checks some of y'all don't like him, but Tommy Sotomayor, I remember he was back on YouTube like 09, 010 getting paid a lot of money. You know, 78 been on here. Kevin Samuels was on here and he blew up. So now people are starting to realize, oh, the real money is online. It's not on ESPN no more. It's not on ABC. And Country Wayne figured that out. Faison, you still in the old model. What if you did a Big Worm series? Or what if Ice Cube came up together and said man we're gonna do a friday series like how bel air did but we're gonna do it online with no cursing you know how big that'd be and that's lucrative so when country wayne says he's making eight hundred thousand a month i'm not surprised he got nine million followers on youtube i mean on facebook he got a couple of million followers on all his channels on youtube all that revenue that he's generating bringing in and everybody love country wayne now I thought Wayne was big to the youth. I asked my kids. They don't know who he is. I asked my, my nephews and nieces. They don't know who he is. But my mama know who he is. Uh, grandmothers know who he is. Grandfathers know who he is. Some of my OGs in their 40s and 50s know who he is. And they watch his shows. Re they watch his skits religiously. Every single skit that come out. Even somebody I know. Even he even started mirroring himself after Phil after a while. What would what, what, what Phil used to say, man, that's crazy, bruh. But a lot of these comedians and really people in general, entertainers, they don't understand how lucrative this online money been. Look at Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast worth $1.3 billion. A billionaire off YouTube videos. Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee blew up on, online. He was making more money online. Then the people on ESPN, and, and he won the highest paid play, people on there. You see Stephen A. Smith started demanding all that money. Online is where it's at. It's been there like that for a long time. It's just now you're starting to see athletes and other people come around. But people got to stop hating on Wayne, man. Wayne found his lane. It ain't no cursing in there. It ain't no sex in there. You don't see no drugs going on in there. There is a lot of messages now. Do I think Wayne's like an Eddie Murphy? No. You know, but he found his own lane. So just let this brother eat, man. 
it it may not be for you and that's cool but why we can't respect brothers getting it getting a bread it like it ain't like he out there pushing a bad message so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it what do y'all think